welcome to this video in this video i will be talking about grover's algorithm so in the previous video i talked about uh, doyce jose algorithm and i also discussed the query model of uh, computation uh, and i also said what is face kickback what is uh, a promise problem and things like those now but the grover's algorithm is also a promise problem where we are promised that the promise is that f of x is 1 for x belonging to a particular string w and it is 0 elsewise so for all other uh, bit strings that you have so 2 power n minus 1 uh, so 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 uh, it will be 0 basically so here n capital n i will take to be 2 power n and so we have uh, this many bit strings and what we need is we need to find w so classically what we can do is we can iterate through every string so there is a total n strings and we can pass every string as a query and we can see the output and then the string where the output is one we just say that it is um, it is uh, w we have found it so we know that we can uh, do this algorithm in order n queries so this is the number of queries or this is the cost for example but quantum mechanically we can do much better and that is we can do uh, order square root of n so this is a reduction from n to square root of n and this many queries is required and we will see how this square root n comes about so let's fix our attention on the circuit now so the circuit is of this particular fashion we start with a zero state and then we have n n number of this so so this is a zero state uh, this is a zero state on n qubits and then you have the hadamard gate and then you have an oracle of acting then you have a hadamard gate then you have a different oracle which i will explain then again a hadamard gate and then you have a measurement and in this you will have to apply certain uh, certain elements many times so i have not written it i will write it i will write the circuit again but the idea is these are the basic uh, elements and the direction we will proceed so for this it is important to understand what these oracles are so these oracles will be playing a important role and the role will not be of face kickback and we will do an explicit construction of these oracles so we know that a phase oracle O G acting on X is minus one G of X X. Now consider two oracles O F naught and O F of this particular fashion. So one is two times the zero state on N qubits minus identity and one is identity minus two times a W state. So these both are unitary operators and O square is identity and they are also Hermitian. So what is F0? So, so these introduce uh, phase kickbacks for this particular function. So F0 is such that F0 of x is 0 if x is equal to 0 or 1 else. So this is something that we create. So, uh, so created by us. And this function is something that is promised. This is promised. And if you see uh, OF0 acting on the zero state it will give you the zero state but acting on any other state it will introduce a minus one factor so that is the phase kickback of minus one similarly OF acting on the any other state will be plus because because we need uh, the phase kickback only when we get the output one so on x equal to w state so o f acting on w is minus 1 times w which is same as minus 1 power f of uh, f of w times w right so this is the phase kickback i was talking about so these oracles gives uh, the proper phase kickback so now the claim is that continuous application of this particular unitary operation so you have OF, so OF is here and you have this Hadamard OF0 Hadamard as a operation V 
and continuous application of this operation r times on the circuit brings the final state close to the required bit string so this is the the anomaly bit string or the marked bit string which can then be read off by a measurement in computational basis at the end so the only difference in this circuit is that of times v uh, the operation will be repeated so will be repeated uh, r times so you have of you have uh, v and the entire thing will be repeated r times so now let's go through each of the steps uh, slowly to understand how this uh, circuit evaluates so step 1 is that action of hadamard uh, on n qubits acting on the zero state is an equal superposition state that we talked about so this is there now this equal superposition state can be written as a state in terms of the state that we are interested in the anomalous state uh, state or the the state which has this uh, error the state that we want to find and a state that is in the perpendicular space so it is in the orthogonal space so this this is because the basis vectors they are all uh, orthonormal and you can write it like this and then you call sin theta as this particular entry and cos theta as this particular entry so now what you can do is now you apply of to the state psi1 so here is 1 and after applying of we come to 2 so of applied to psi1 is identity minus 2 uh, this op operator this was of and psi1 we uh, we will use this particular form of psi1 here so psi1 can be written as psi1 minus 2 times the overlap between w state and psi1 times the w state so uh this can be written as now in terms of w and w perpendicular state so psi can be expanded psi1 can be expanded in terms of w and w perpendicular and the overlap can be expanded also which is nothing but sin theta by 2 and then we come to this particular state so you can see that the coefficient of w is actually flipped to a minus sign so after this we come to the third step which is application of the v gate so the v gate if we remind ourselves is hadamard of of not hadamard so hadamard of not hadamard and that is what i have written here hadamard this is of not and then you have hadamard again so how can i write this i can write hadamard gates uh, i can take hadamard gates inside and they will give me an equal superposition state that is psi1 and this gives me this particular uh, um, uh, expression and now v acting on of so v acting on the second uh, state is nothing but w perpendicular times a prefactor and w times a prefactor and why why is this so this is easy to verify because psi1 can be written as w w w per w per like these projectors and the overlap term also you will have you will have w w perpendicular so you can write it as a matrix in terms of w and w perpendicular and you can also express uh, psi1 in terms of w w perpendicular you can express v in terms of w w perpendicular so you can express the entire action in terms of w w perpendicular but an important thing to notice here is that the initial state that had theta by 2 and sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 has now an addition of theta to it so this can be captured in a nice way by a diagram so this is what i am showing now so what happens is you start with 1 so this is uh, step 1 so you have an equal superposition state and the angle is that it it has a it has a cos theta by 2 projection along w path and it has a sin theta by 2 projection along w now after the second step which is after the application of of you get to a state which is reflected al along w per to minus theta by 2 now there is a projection of cos theta by 2 along w per but along w you have a projection of minus sin theta by 2 this was the flip that we saw 
and from this you come to the third step suddenly you go to a jump and you get v times theta f times uh, psi 1 such that there is an increase of angle of theta so so these are the three steps so you first uh, stay along uh, psi 1 then you jump to step 2 with a with a theta by 2 reflection and then there is a further again a kind of a reflection along psi 1 if you if you wish so so the third one you can think about a reflection about the initial state psi 1 so with this we have understood the the one iteration of the circuit but the circuit will be of this form so the circuit i have shown here it is you have zero you have hadamard then you will have many iterations of this you will have r times of this and then you will have a measurement step so before the measurement if you have r times this action then you will see that what is happening is you are adding theta at every uh, every round so every round there is a reflection along this axis and that axis but you are adding a theta in the end so after r rounds what you have is this particular state here cos r theta plus theta by 2 w per plus sin r theta plus theta by 2 w and now the idea is at every round you are getting close to this uh, w state and to to get the w state exactly what you need is r theta plus theta by 2 equal to pi by 2 because then sin theta will be 1 and you will get the w state exactly so now we can think about this particular expression and we can consider large n we can consider large n so as sin theta by 2 is theta by 2 because n comes in the denominator so a large n means a small uh, angle basically so this means that you know the value of theta in terms of n uh, for, for large this is for for large uh, number of qubits and now what this means is that what what we can write r as a particular form so r can be written in this particular form and r is the number of times you are using the query gate you are using the oracle basically so you see that it is of the order of root n so this means the number of times we query is of the order of root n and now i talk about something that is called the idea of amplitude al amplification in Glo grover's algorithm so let's quickly discuss amplitude am amplification so the basic idea is that we start with a state psi 1 which is an equal superposition with coefficient 1 over root n so this i have shown here so the amplitudes of all the states starting from the zero state one state up till uh, the final state n minus 1 uh, whatever uh, all the states so th this this won't be n minus 1 uh, yeah, so so there are a total of 2 power n different states and every state has an amplitude of this particular form and now when you apply theta f what happens is there is a flip of sign so if you remember there was a flip of sign so uh, so, so uh, let's come to this uh, diagram again. So you can see that this reflection co correspond to a flip of sign of the of the W state to uh, minus uh, sine theta by two. So this flip of sign can be modeled in this particular way. So every amplitude stays one over root l. Only the W string amplitude flips to minus one over root l. And now you can think that this yellow line is the average of everything. So it is the average of 1 over root n, so 1 over root n uh, repeated 2 power n minus 1 times uh, and then you are adding minus 1 over root n divided by a total number that is 2 power n. So this is uh, not necessary right now but the main idea is the average will be less than the maximum because uh, there is a negative that is contributing to the average so it will pull it down so this yellow line is the average and there is deviation around this yellow line so the, the deviation from 1 over root n is uh, delta 2 
and the deviation from minus 1 over root n this thing is delta 3. Now consider the third third implementation the third implementation is the implementation of the v gate. So the v gate I have written here you have any state psi then to that state you can apply the v gate which is two times the equal superposition state minus identity and the equal superposition state you can massage it to a form of this. And now after this what you can show is the application of V gate to any state psi can be written in this particular fashion. So it is summation over J over all the bit strings 2 times average of the amplitudes minus the amplitudes. So this can again be written as the average times an addition factor. So this is the deviation around the average that is average minus the amplitude. So now in the figure you can see that for for W state for this state this delta 3 is a positive uh, number. So this is simply uh, simply you can see that uh, you have average plus average plus 1 over root n because because this minus term is here and you also have a minus here. So it becomes plus. But for other states which are having a positive amplitude, you have a negative contribution of this uh, this particular term. So what what this means is that along the average, if you if I take my axis to be average, I am seeing a reduction of reduction of the amplitudes below the average. And on the other hand, I am seeing a increase of amplitude above the average for the w state so uh, so this is the main idea so uh, along the average uh, you can see that what happens is average minus 1 over root n this is actually an this is actually uh, a negative term so this is less than 0 so you are adding it so you are reducing the average and here lambda 3 this term is greater than 0 so you are increasing along the average. So this is what I have shown here. So what happens is the W state now goes up its amplitude is amplified. So this is amplitude amplification. So repeating this uh, leads to uh, amplitude amplification and now I will uh, end this video with one more uh, comment. The comment is particularly what happens if you have uh, more than one state as uh, a solution. So basically you have a set W. So you have a set. So this is a set which has all the W's such that f of x is 1. So then you can prepare an equal superposition state. So you can prepare an equal superposition state within the set. And you can put that as W. So what you will be detecting is an equal superposition state. You will not be detecting a single state now. And then you can again adjust the prefactors as sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2. And the entire calculation that we have done will proceed as it proceeded before. But the idea is now this amplitude amplification will amplify a equal superposition state. So this is uh, important. So, so we will not get a unique solution. What we will get is a superposition of solution. So that's all. Uh, with this, I end my video. In the next video, we will talk about uh, phase estimation problem.